Bay Area Science Museum that's been thrilling generations of visitors, marking a big milestone. The Lawrence Hall of Science is turning 50 this month, and Nightbeat's John Ramos says it remains vital today, even as the world around it keeps changing. Sitting on the hillside overlooking UC Berkeley is the Lawrence Hall of Science, built to honor the memory of nuclear physicist and Cal's first Nobel laureate, Dr. Ernest Lawrence. The Science Center had a goal as lofty as its location. They wanted to do something that would change the world. Since 1968, the hall has been using science to spark the imagination of kids and kids at heart. But today it did it for free in celebration of its 50th birthday. The original vision for this place was kind of focused on high school kids because they were thinking about who was going next to college, and that rapidly changed. Whoa! Now the little kids have taken over. Emma Howes used Legos to create her version of a jungle. Her little brother Ben showed me what happens when a satellite gets hit by space junk. I want to be an astronaut. You want to be an astronaut? Yes. So you can go up and maybe fix that satellite? Yes. Outside, they were learning to make tiny boats powered by chemistry and rockets made with Alka-Seltzer tablets that really launched. Well, most of the time. Today it was all fun and games, but in 1968, the world was nervous about rapid increases in nuclear science, so Hollywood came calling. This was a very modern building, and it looked like a scientific facility. The hall became the setting for a science fiction movie called Colossus the Forbin Project, about a supercomputer with artificial intelligence that seizes control of the nuclear arsenal and uses it to enslave man. Obey and live, or disobey and die. It's ironic that a place named for a nuclear physicist would be used to make a movie stoking people's fear of new technologies. Well, they fear what they don't know, and that's why I think it's really good if you can go and find a place where you can find out more and experience it for yourself. Lawrence Hall of Science has been doing that for 50 years, but what's really fascinating is to imagine what will be going on here when it turns 100. In Berkeley, on the Night Beat, I'm John Ramos.